Hello and welcome back to my channel, Only In Your Mind. This week's makeup is a steampunk makeup. I was really happy and excited to finally do a steampunk makeup because, let's face it, steampunk looks pretty awesome. So I will be doing more steampunk makeups in the future, so I hope you guys come back and check out those makeups. But if you want to see how I did this one, please keep watching. Sorry about the dress strap, but for this makeup, I will be wearing a strapless dress and I'm starting off marking out where I would like this steampunk makeup to be and I'm using a white eyeliner. The tool that I'm using here is from Fab and I'm basically going to go around this mask that I created with that gold. And I'm going to go ahead and start making some gears and I'm going to use this white eyeliner to draw a rough draft of where I want the gears to be. I would like to take this time right now to apologize for the camera angle and view. I moved my camera because it needed to be tightened up and I didn't realize that I moved it way too low. So when I was doing my makeup and looking down into the uh, mirror, it was way too low and then of course when I looked up it did not look low. Okay, so let's get back to the makeup. I used Chameleon Black to trace over the white eyeliner that I did earlier and then I'm going to take a silver from Paradise and trace over the black face paint but still leaving some of that face paint exposed so it looks like a 3D effect. And I'm going to take that chameleon black and outline the mask and also do little circles around the mask for screws. Then with some black star blend from Mayron, I'm going to do some shading in the gears and outside of the gears and basically all around. And what I mean all around, I'm going to shade outside of the mask, inside of the mask, and also around those screws too as well, so it has more of a 3D look. Guys, I'm apologizing again of the camera angle. I was very upset that I did not get a good camera angle with this um, makeup, but I'm going to put these gears right here. and. At first I wasn't feeling the way I put these gears but they don't look too bad. Just like the other gears I am going to outline in black and then take that silver from Paradise and go over the gears. And of course I didn't tell you how I made these gears I just let you watch but I made a circle then I made a smaller circle inside and then I connected those circles with lines and then outside of the big circle I made little lines going around the circle. And for this makeup I did not use a reference photo and I do have to say that the makeups that I've done that it's just what I come up with I really enjoy it's been really fun just being more creative and just coming up with things on my own without a photo to fill in the empty space I decided to do these squiggly lines and just like the gears I used the black and then on top of the black I used that silver from paradise and for a little bit more dimension I'm going to use that chameleon black in the gears. With that gold from Fab I'm going to fill in my lips and I'm going to take that chameleon black and draw some lines down my lip and I'm going to take paradise white and kind of outline those lines on my lip. which is basically a highlight and since I have that white out I'm going to go ahead and highlight the actual gears and some of the screws as well. To fill in some more empty space I did some more squiggly lines and just like the gears and everything else I'm going to use the black and then the silver on top of that. 
now it's time to create some steampunk clothes. I use Wolf's Brown and a couple of times I changed the design around but I decided that I was going to make um, some buckles here and I am using yellow from Paradise and then I'm using white for kind of like sleeves which I will be changing pretty soon as well and for some shading I'm using Mehran's Star Blend in black also using that same black that I use for the shading to outline where I want the straps and then later on I'm going to use chameleon black to go over that area So I'm going to go ahead and do some more shading for the neck area and where the leather and the white shirt meets. And I decided that I wanted the collar to kind of go down and I'm using some white to kind of add that highlight for that collar. And then I'm going to trace it with some of the star blend that I use for the shading. To make the holes and to outline everything I'm going to use chameleon black and then I'm going to come around with some of that paradise for some highlighting on the leather. I guess I can't get enough of that black from Star Blend. It has become my new favorite thing. And I'm going to use it to make kind of like pleats almost to make it look like fluffy. Like I said before, I was going to change things around and I decided to do that because my son said that I looked like I was a steampunk Hannibal and I kind of did like the mask that he wears and almost like that stray jacket that he has. So I decided that I was going to give myself kind of a shoulder, I don't know, I don't know, satchel, I don't even know what you call it, but I just made this. Now for this shoulder satchel, I decided that I was going to give it a pocket and I used that star blend and I shaded around the pocket and around the actual straps and the buckle and stuff like that. And then I'm going to come around with the chameleon black and outline everything so it looks nicer and cleaner. I really enjoyed doing the steampunk makeup and I am so happy because I can't wait to do the next steampunk makeup. I think I'm going to do a series or something. I'm hoping to do that because it was so much fun. And I am also sorry because this video is longer than what I normally have but it actually took me about four hours to do this because in between the time I was cooking and doing other things and I actually went off and ate and came back. So I'm just about at the end of this makeup, but I decided that I needed to fill the space on my nose because it was kind of um, empty. So I did the same thing like I did with the other makeups. I used black and then on top of that, I used silver. Thank you so much for watching my video on my channel, Only In Your Mind. And if you like this steampunk makeup, please hit the like button, subscribe, and don't forget to share my videos, guys. And I will see you guys next week.